Welcome back to Newslink Indiana. I'm Master Bauer with Sports. The Pew Research Center found that involvement in extracurricular activities goes down about 20% for families with lower incomes. With 40% of Muncie families in poverty, these valuable opportunities may not be possible for all kiddos. But a local ballet studio is doing what it can to change that. When Muncie Ballet owner Lisa Love walks into her studio, she knows she's right at home. Every time I walk in the door, I go, oh, I love my studio because I truly do. And I love what I do here. And I love having the kids come in um, and I love our shows. And her students love it too. Why do you like to dance? Because uh, uh, I, I like to, because uh, it's fun. Just the people, they're all really nice, and I don't know like how many friends I would have if I didn't have all these friends. The focus at the studio is on classical ballet training, performing storybook ballets, and sharing their art in the community. But Love knows that not everyone gets the chance to fall in love with ballet simply because of how expensive it is. Think of all the times you have someone on the outside looking in, and they don't have the opportunity. And it's fabulous that we can give them the opportunity to come to the studio. I always give them the option to say, what can you pay? Sometimes it's $4 a week. That's completely fine. We're going to make a way, find a way to make it work for them. On top of running Muncie Ballet, Love works another full-time job and has established a studio as a 501c3 organization. For Love, it's about doing all she can to help more students feel welcome. We have our share box of shoes and ballet shoes and tap shoes for our little doo-doo tap. Um, we have a share box of leotards and tights, all clean. Um, and then we have other items that I can find um, on wholesale or discount that I'm able to purchase those and give them to the kids who need them. And for anyone looking to donate to the studio, you can visit their website at www.munceyballet.org. They are always accepting donations to help fund their mission, and you can catch them in action December 14th and 15th for their Nutcracker performance at Cornerstone.